The story from Karnataka of the Tipu descendant saying enough is enough and asking political parties to stop their bickering over Tipu Sultan. Joining me here this evening on 6 p.m. Prime is Saheb Zada Mansoor Ali, who is the seventh generation Tipu descendant. Uh, Mr. Mansoor Ali, thank you for joining us here on India Today. I want to understand first from you what is it that prompted you to make the statement where you said that if anyone continues to drag Tipu Sultan's name into their political discourse, you will drag them to court. Hello to everyone. Uh, actually, uh, from uh, continuous years, we are seeing that Tipu Sultan's name has been dragging in the media or for the political gains or whether to divide the votes or to divide the netas and divide the communities. <clears throat> Only Tipu Sultan's name has been used for all these things. Why in the name of Tipu Sultan, none development was made when Sidramaya government in 2015 also, they celebrated Tipu Jayanti. It became only a subject of a Congress. It didn't become a subject of a people. It never became a uh, subject of the education. Uh, when the government got over, it was one day's program what they had made it. It was not even gazetted. And soon after that, when the BJP government formed in Karnataka, immediately they crashed Tipu Sultan Jayanti as a, as, as a one, one shot of a paper and they threw it in the dustbin of that program. Even after that, the government of BJP over here they removed the lessons of Tipu Sultan as a tiger of Mysore. And even the name, the, the, the train which was being running from Mysore to Bangalore, which was named after Tipu Sultan, uh, the Tipu Express, that was also being removed. How much to yeah. tolerate? Now and then, every day, every now and then, small neta, big neta, whoever they are, they are trying to drag Tipu Sultan on the old bank politics. So we came to a conclusion, all the family members and descendants, that if this goes on, where our history will lag. Because Tipu Sultan's contribution is enough for us. What he contributed for Sri Mat, what he did for temples, what he, how he won the war, and his bravery and other things. That itself is more than enough for the century for our history. Why this history has been again and again dragged? So recently no, do you when believe I that there's one political party when... that's indulging in it? Do you believe it's one political party or do you blame no, all no, of them? both the political parties, both BJP and Congress. When they don't have their report card in their hand, they are trying to bring out the old department like historian leaders and other things to polarize votes and to gain the coming, especially the Congress wants to convey our Muslims towards uh, uh, taking Tipu Sultan's name. And BJP, on the other hand, wants to show the uh, bravery how Veer Savarkar was there. We are not concerned what Veer Savarkar did. We are not concerned the, what others did. But why is Tipu Sultan's name again and again coming in the front? Why they want to use this name? So that's the thing we have decided. If I got, if it goes like this, we have to file a legal action in the court. What do you have to say to comments that are made by members of the BJP, Mr. Mansur Ali, that Tipu Sultan is not the tiger of Mysore. He was no freedom fighter. He was no hero. That he was a tyrant. Who proved it? It is just a recent writer from seven years back who's written a book sitting in the four uh, Ban Kamaras. There are so many gazettes where Tipu Sultan donated the lands. Where there are so many gazettes where Tipu Sultan killed a tiger and he was titled by British as a Mysore. But there are also reports, so sir, sir, and, and the uh, reason this is said is largely what happened to the Kodawas, what happened in Kurg. The Kodawas itself, that time, there were only thousands of Kodawas, Kodawas that time. They even have taken a research on that. There were some descriptions of those times. The law was not been maintained. The Kodawas were never used to follow the law of the kingdom of that time. They were been punished for a few things. Never it has been killed in masses, no? Okay, but what's your response also to the other claim that Tipu Sultan uh, targeted people of other religions, there was mass conversion, etc. happening? See, when you talk about the uh, mass killing and other things, it was not a killing, it was a war. Even when that time, he never tolerated Muslims also. The Nawabs are Muslim. Even he killed the Nawabs army of 5,000 when there was a third anglo mysore war. Why don't you accept that? It was not to the, only to one community. It was the people who were been, uh, coming in between to stop uh, British army when they entered India. It was a big threat to British. Only Tipu Sultan was the one king in the entire nation who could stop British. 35 years, he did four anglo mysore wars and he fought on the battlefield. He died on the battlefield, single as a tiger of Mysore. Okay, so you're maintaining he's very much a freedom fighter and there are attempts to, you know, drag his legacy through the mud. My final question to you, Mansoor Ali, if you had an opportunity to speak today directly to the BJP and Congress, what would your communication, what would your message be to them on Tipu Sultan?
if at all if you think it is a BJP, uh, if it is a BJP and Congress, I will definitely ask them. If you are so thing, then you allow anybody from the Muslim community that who are of the Tipu Sultan to give them an opportunity of politics. We can't tolerate anyone. If if at all, if these people want to get a challenge that Tipu has this power, sir, we challenge this election. Even we will stand up and we will show the people what is Tipu Sultan and what is Savarkar and we will prove the people that who is standing for Tipu Sultan, who is for not for Tipu Sultan, whether it is BJP, whether it is Congress, we will not let them to polarize what in hand we will bring the all youngsters and the Tipu Sultan followers one-sided and we will also challenge both these parties that okay. even we have a power to conclude on elections and political parties. All right, Mr. Mansoor Ali, thank you for joining us here on India Today. We also sincerely hope, you know, this kind of politics ends so that it puts the focus of the spotlight on issues that matter to the people of Karnataka, which just isn't being spoken about right now by political parties. Obviously. Thank you very One much. Last All right, my apologies for uh, cutting him short. But thank you, Mansoor Ali, for joining us here on India Today.